Hi, thanks a lot for coming into my kitchen. This is Jill for today. You have a lot of zucchini? I think maybe in mid-August, if you have a garden and you had zucchini, you have a lot of zucchini. This is a super simple recipe for an instant pot cream of zucchini soup. Now, don't go running away if you don't have a pressure cooker. This can be done very easily on the stovetop. It's just going to be a really warm here today, uh, day here, and I didn't want to start, start up the stove, so that's why I'm doing it in my Instant Pot. Very few ingredients, lots of great flavor. Let's I get have started. my Instant Pot on saute, and it's nice and warm, and I have a, oh, about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. I'm going to start off with some onions. Now, I will have the ingredients and the instructions all down below in the show notes box down below so um, those will be there for you and I'm going to saute this up oh I don't know for about five minutes I'd like to have that onion get kind of uh, you know translucent start to warm up a little bit I don't want it to brown but I do want it to uh, be translucent and the other thing we're going to add at the same time is the zucchini now this was uh, about three and a half cups of zucchini cut up in, you know, diced. And that took, well, if you're going to do this recipe, I would plan on three medium zucchinis. Because mine were uh, three minus just a little bit. So, um, yeah, I'd say if you're planning on it, plan on three medium for that three and a half cups. Once it's had a chance to saute up a little bit, I will bring it back. This has been sauteing about three minutes, and as you can see, uh, the zucchini is actually starting to look a little more translucent, as well as the onions. So I'm going to add some pepper right now. I am not going to add salt at this point, because uh, broth, you know, I'm going to add some broth to this. You can add water, but I'm going to add some uh, chicken broth, and you know, those can be salty. So I always hold off till the end to add that salt. This is about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. And I didn't have any garlic today, so I'm going to use my powdered garlic. And this is about a quarter of a teaspoon. A quarter of a teaspoon equals about one medium clove of garlic, if you ever want to know. That's it. And I think at this point, I'm going to turn my uh, pot off. I'm going to turn that saute mode off. And we have, the saute has done its job. I'm going to add one teaspoon of the Better Than Bouillon chicken paste, if you will, because I'm adding just one cup of water. So it'll be like one cup of stock, right? But now I want to make sure that that zucchini is just barely covered, and it is not. So I'm going to add just a little bit more water. So that was one cup, and here comes another half. And I believe I'm going to leave that. That's a quarter of a cup that's left. So we're looking at about a cup and a quarter of water. I'm going to give that a nice stir, make sure everything's down in the pot. Now if I get the lid on, right there we go. Now I'm going to set it on ceiling. We don't want it on vent. So I've turned on my manual and I'm going to bring it down to six minutes. And after that six minutes, I'm going to let it do a natural release, oh, for about 10 minutes. And then I'll do a quick release on it. We will open the pot and we will go forward. We're back and it has done cooking. Uh, you can release, quick release after 10 minutes, you know, once your cooking time is over. But I had stuff to do and I just said, okay, I'll let it do its thing. So it did go, you know, slow release all the way down to where the pressure is uh, out of the pot. Ooh, I'll tell you what, this just smells divine. So I am going to do this with my immersion blender. It has to be pureed. You could do it in a regular blender, like a Vitamix or whatever kind of blender you might have. but. I'll tell you what, when you have a hot fluid like this, you can have, you have to be so very careful, put a very small amount in your blender, leave the cap off the top so that steam has a chance to escape, or you'll have like a, a 
uh, overflow, you know, it'll blow on you. And it can be very serious, of course, when it's that hot. So that's why I like to use the Immersion Blender. They're a nice tool to have in your kitchen. And I'm going to uh, blend this up. I think that there's not enough, I mean, I don't think there's too much water in here. Of course, you know, zucchini have a lot of water in, in them to begin with. But I'm going to puree this and we'll see how it looks afterwards. <laughs> Yum. Okay, I have this, I think, well blended. There might be a little, little, a little tiny piece here and there. Uh, you know, this too uh, splattered as I was uh, blending it with that immersion blender. So just beware, um, you know, that this is hot and you have to be careful. So now I'm going to add something that's going to cream it up a little bit. I have fat-free half and half. Uh, you know, if you can afford the calories, you know, you're going to have whole whole cream, but uh, not here. We do half and half, and it's it's fat-free. So I'm going to add, we want it to, it's going to just be mm, silky. That's what we're going for, is silky. I see a couple little pieces in there. I'll have to, I'll have to pick out. Yeah, I see some in there. I'll have to run them. Actually, I think what I'll probably do is run that blender a little bit again, but yeah. And that's a beautiful, beautiful texture beautiful texture. If if you think this is not as thick as you like, although I think this is very nice for a cream soup, a soup you could probably let it, uh, you know, simmer for a bit and that would help reduce some of the liquid in there. Um, you could also add a little uh, cornstarch and water to, you know, use that as a thickening agent. But I'm very happy with the uh, texture on this. I'm going to let this reheat. You know, when you use, uh, there it goes, when you use an immersion blender like that or a blender in general, you know, you're adding a lot of air to that, so you're cooling it down. And we want it hot for lunch. So I'm going to let it, you know, heat back up and we'll take a bowl of it. And you know, what is so good on this would be uh, shredded cheese, like a shredded cheddar cheese. If you liked bacon, you could crumble some bacon up in there. There's, you know, you can do a lot with it, but uh, just on its own, it's a very delicious soup. So uh, we'll get back in a, and we'll take a taste. So this is gonna take some of the burden off all the gardeners out there in the United States or wherever around the world that are growing zucchinis right now. And don't know what to do with it. Yes, I don't know what to zucchini do with it. Zucchini soup. Cream of zucchini soup. Uh, I put a few croutons on there for you. What do you say? It's pretty good. Good. Oh, there's my phone. Mm. What do you say? Good? Yeah, I'd eat that. Well, that's good. I am. Actually, you know, I looked at that uh, pot, and really, this is a pretty good uh, measurement. Do I get to taste it? or? Oh, I... <laughs> That's good. I'm happy. I that was I'm happy. Food. I'm happy you like it. Um, oh, I think it's a good. So look in that pot. I think that would be a good size for two, with oh, a yeah. little left over, right? Yeah. It's not like a huge pot. Mm -hmm. That's good. Excellent. Mild. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna taste it with one of those uh, croutons. Croutons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. I'll tell you what I think would be so great on this is a shredded cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. Little bites of uh, bacon, if you like bacon. <laughs> bacon. But on its own, it's very good recipe. Mm -hmm. Do you encourage them to try it? I do indeed. So there you are. If he's encouraging you, it must oh, be a go-to good this one. This would be no. very good like a vicious swap. Cold. I bet it would too. I will bet you we're going to try this try cold. That. Yes. All right. Because we gabbed on enough. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll tell your friends about what an amazing channel this is and ask them to come over and subscribe. Try my recipes. I will leave some links to some great things down below in the show, show box. Um, I have a nice little Amazon store where you can see actual demonstrations and Never reviews. Stop selling. Never stop selling. But you know what I want to do? I want to thank you for coming in and taking this crazy ride that we call Soup. <laughs> Life. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.